Hey guys, thanks for joining my video. Today we're going to be learning about why you should learn Python in 2020. The main benefits that you're going to get out of this video is learning why Python might be a useful skill for you in the next year, next decade, and how you can use those skills to improve your career position, maybe change jobs, and definitely make a lot more money. And it'll help you and make it easier to learn other skills as well. Anyways, let's get into it. In 1991, Guido van Rossum, a Dutch programmer, created the Python programming language. He actually named it after Monty Python and the Flying Circus, which was a very popular comedy group. You'll actually see that in a lot of the Python programming documentation and in the community, a lot of references uh, to Monty Python's uh, movies like Life of Brian, Monty Python and the Search for the Holy Grail. So you might be asking what you can use Python for. Python is a great language that is a lot easier to learn than other programming languages. The learning curve isn't as steep as other languages. If you're a beginner, instead of having to learn something difficult where you have all of these concepts flying around like C++, a lower level language like C, where you have to take into consideration things like pointers, memory management, a higher level language like Python, makes it easy to just worry on getting the code to work. Instead of having to worry about those more abstract details and things closer to the hardware, you're just focusing on the logic of the program. According to the TIOBE, or the importance of being earnest, they did a survey on basically, and have over the last couple of years, the most popular programming languages. This current year, it, Python's number three. It's been growing every single year, and Python's great for a lot of different industries and people. It's not just for programmers. You can write scripts if, let's say, you work in a business org organization, you have a lot of spreadsheets, Microsoft Word, maybe PDFs. You can automate a lot of your mundane tasks with Python. You see a lot of kids having fun with Minecraft, making games or add-ons to the game. You have AI, researchers, machine learning. Python's great for all of that, especially with the sciences and mathematics as well you'll actually see a lot of healthcare professionals use it too. The reason being is that learning curve, instead of having it be a high barrier to en entry, you can start writing code in Python easily and simply. It's also easier to read. Also in terms of projects for, for Python, you'll see a lot of people doing crazy stuff with the language. In terms of home automation, a lot of people controlling the whole lighting system, the security system with, with Python. In terms of Raspberry Pi, people have been using it as a voice assistant. Some people have created a magic mirror, a mirror where you can see the weather, quotes being randomly generated, and then any type of other status indicators that you want. But all information is being collected and retrieved through a REST API call from different services. So a weather service, maybe the time from a time date service, or just using normal time date stuff. It's crazy to think that you can build all this amazing hardware with Python. In addition, I've seen or at least heard stories of people using Python to automatically enter into Twitter, retweet competitions and winning free things. I've also heard clever stories of people uh, writing Python scripts in college where they, instead of having to manually enter their, their, their class preferences, they, they used automation and a Python library called Selenium to just automatically populate the forms uh, to claim that class spot. So instead of having to refresh the page and do that manually, they just automatically got the first pick of classes. Basically the limits of Python and these types of automation projects is just limited to your personal creativ creativity. And that itself will grow as you do more of these fun side projects. Another great thing about the Python community is that it's so huge, there's so many resources especially for beginners, you can ask your questions or there'll always be a YouTube video. I remember when I ran into some of my uh, problems with Python, there was a YouTube video for every single problem I had. It didn't matter how obscure it was, there was either some guy from a different part of the, the world, a nine-year-old kid who was definitely a lot smarter than me, all these enthusiasts for the language. So if you run into a problem, you're gonna definitely find a solution in Python on Stack Overflow, YouTube, what have you. Python's also great for do-it-yourselfers or DIYers. Basically, a good language is a beginner because you can just branch out to your specific hobby or interest. You can really make Python and the skills you develop in, in it anything you want. It's a great language to develop your, your fundamentals, but really then hone in on your niche. 
whatever that, that field is. When I started learning programming at my old job, I tried to first learn Java and it was just, it was way over my head. I didn't understand the syntax, but once you actually see Python, it's almost like human readable language. It's, it's almost English. You slowly do these little tiny tasks and automate them. Like I was mentioning in previous videos, Automate the Board and Stuff was a great book to read in order to learn and hone those skills. Whatever project I was doing, I, I found, or at least tried to find a way to automate it, basically be more efficient with my time. That's why you would want to learn programming. Not only can you kind of dive deep in your particular interest, but career-wise, showing that you've been able to automate something and save time, save the company money, will help you advance your career. And if development is something that you're interested in, maybe being a software engineer, that's the path I took. So I used to be primarily in a business focused job, but project by project, I found ways to incorporate programming and using Python to automate everything I did. With that experience, I added it to my resume. I had more milestones, more projects I could show that I could actually code. It was easier to transition to a software development career after that within the same company. Software development or software engineering is a career path you're interested in. Learning Python is a great way to start and develop those skills. Anyways, I hope you guys found this particular video interesting. You should definitely learn Python in 2020. The documentation is great. It's easy to do starter projects and get more difficult over time and challenge yourself. It's easy to start with Python. Next year is the perfect time to start and it'll help you further develop your career. Thanks for listening to this. Please let me know if you have any questions below. I'll gladly answer. If you can, please like and subscribe this video. Thank you.